up y'all welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl toya the esthetician and we have a juicy topic for y'all today i have my special guest my man my man my man it's the hubby introduce yourself hubby and your name hubby all right no for real <laughs> now it's your boy aj okay aj aj y'all that's my man my baby daddy period so just introduce yourself tell them like who you are what you do um yeah they don't know you you a stranger to the channel <laughs> i'm not a stranger okay introduce yourself to us today it's your boy a from bristol virginia where you know the school of the hard knocks is from really yeah school of the hard knocks hard knocks, hard knocks. Who, who is that it's a hard knock life for us, it's a hard night life. Um, you don't know that song. Okay. Sure well, y'all, it's AJ. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> but, um, okay, so y'all know that's my man, my man, my man. So today we're just going to talk to y'all about, like, how we met, who we are, and then we're just going to dive into the whole dating in your 20s. Like, we're dating, but we didn't date until our late 20s. So we just want to talk about the pros and cons because we've both been through you know different relationships so i just want you know them to hear from us and yeah so let's just let's just dive right in it so we're just going to talk about right now how we met so i'm gonna let you, you do it you don't remember how we met that's why you asked me first no i can say how we <laughs> met but you go ahead no nah, we met i was getting a facial from um at the time my brother's girl considered a girl and um you know she toy she's seen the boy and but it was complimenting on my dreads and saying I love the color and started playing in it and I was like oh shit okay okay she digging the boy so she actually ran away from me she actually got shot and ran, ran, ran away from me so I had to hit her up on the uh, hit her front to get her, her information and stuff that's how that happened that's how let me tell y'all how it happened <laughs> okay so he pulled up for a facial right and he was with his brother and his brother actually came to get a facial before uh, at my institution, at the institution that I was at, right, y'all? So, boom. We in class. I'm working on my client. This boy keep looking at me. So, I'm like, damn. He, he was looking back. He was looking back, looking at me, whatever. So, then that's why I went over to... <laughs> I went over to where he was at. He was actually working with one of my old friends. Um, was doing his facial. So, he was actually working with her. And... When he was there, I was like, oh, your hair is cute. Be my fault. Did I have locks then? Yeah, yeah, I had locks. So, with me, I was like, dang, like, I didn't have no color then. So, I was like, oh, his locks look good. And he had this, this exact platinum color in his hair. I was like, oh, yeah, that's fire. Like, that's it. I was not like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm, so cute. I, none of that. And the other girls was there telling him that they like his hair, too. It wasn't just me. It wasn't like I was solo. It was other girls there telling him that they like his hair, too. So boom so then that was that and, you know he was continuing on getting his facial and i left i left and went to the classroom and that was that but then that's how we first met you know what this is this is cat she was goosing she lied she was goosing okay i guess we'll never have a real story so boom <laughs> <laughs> so right. boom so yeah that happened and then we just start talking like every day like he would call me every day and he knew I had a busy lifestyle, like, every day. But I still made time to talk to you. So I called you and you didn't call me? It wasn't yeah, I called late. you too, because our conversation... Yeah, our conversations was lit. Like, we would generally have, like, real conversations. Like, it wouldn't be no, like, yeah. what you're doing. It would actually be, you know... Yeah. Like, like a best friend conversation. So, yeah. So that's just how we met. So tell them about our first date. Our first date... She was late. She was late. I was, yeah. She what was our first date? Movies? Yeah. I was late? Late. Big late. Oh, yeah, yeah I was late. Where Big was I coming hat. from? I thought she was standing me up. I don't know where you was coming from. Where were you coming from? You was it school? Me. You tell me. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember where I was coming from, but I know yeah. the date. Late. I was tired at the movies. Yeah, and fell asleep. Mm-hmm. But I She's made it so there. She's so wrong, bro. She, look, I bro. made it there. I made it there, y'all. I made it there. 
That's all that matters, the effort that it took. I still met, y'all, when I tell y'all I had a busy lifestyle, I was at the point in my life where I was like, grind, 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 grind 24 seven. But I made time for him. And he taught me that. He taught me to actually enjoy life and be like, do stuff, and be home. I never did that. Aww. That's cute. But yeah, that was our first date. So what movie did we go see? What did we see? It was a scary movie. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Okay, so now we're just gonna get into dating in your 20s. So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons to dating in your 20s. So you dated, well, he basically dated all his life. I wasn't like that. I was, uh, but he basically <laughs> dated all his life. I suggest people to date that early on in age or like be, not date, they be in serious relationships the way you were in or. You said what? Would you like suggest people to be like, just date so early on in their 20s or should they date later on in life? Like late 20s? I would just tell like, them to do them and whatever comes along on the path, you can either learn, you can either learn from it or, uh, no, either, either way it's going to be a learning experience. So I mean, either each way, relationship is different. It is different. So you're going to learn what was the pros and cons and that, how you can take it to the, to the next person. Cause some, some relationships, some relationships will teach you um, uh, lessons about yourself. So I feel like you can learn a lot by dating. And so would you let your daughter be in such a serious relationship early on in life? No, I know you can't control it, but this is just just saying. Like, yeah. would you let her? Like, would you tell her like, yeah, be in a relationship I at that age? Be, or I wouldn't tell her to be in one. I, I would. I would always give her guidance on what she does and. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell her when to date. If, okay, obviously, like I dating is like 11 or 12 years old is like it's not dating. But I'm talking about like when she's of age. I'm not gonna tell her not, not or when to and not to date. Is when it comes, I give her advice. And that's all I can do. I feel like for me personally, like we're dating so early on. I date. I was in a long like relationship before him, but. It was like not serious like i feel like we were still learning each other like i feel like this relationship that i'm in now is more serious because it's real life shit, like real life stuff like oh yeah finances uh building um it's just so much with us we have to think more of like building like do we see a future together or do we want to live together or do we want to buy a house together don't you feel like that when you're in your younger 20s like you're not thinking about that that's subjective. Okay, go ahead. There, there's a lot of people that that I've well, okay, where I'm from, it's very common for like like a person to start a journey with somebody else, like 23 or 24. Like I've seen that. It's all. I mean, you know, it's only you. Like, I guess it depends on the person. How yeah. they? Do you think it's like how they raise? No, I, I think it just happened. Like it's fate. You can meet oh, your fate. person. You can meet your person in high school. Mm-hmm. And be like, yeah, like no, I do believe that, but it's not common. Like, that's subjective. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen like a lot of people from my that's in my grade or that have families and, and are married, got a house with somebody. Like, I, I, it's. And they can say that they happy that they met. I, I don't know if they. I don't talk to them every day. Oh. No, but I, I see it. Like I, I'm seeing a lot of marriages. And they still together. Around that 23, 24 age, like. That's when you get out of kind of that's where you get out of college, really. No, that is fine. But I'm saying like starting off dating like 20, 21, I feel like you're still finding yourself. So to get, take that person serious, like, yo, I'm gonna tell my daughter, please do not take these 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 Then don't then uh, if you wanna tell her that, then I'm okay, gonna I'm gonna want tell her to get in a relationship at all. No, I'm I'm gonna tell her take it serious, but don't take it too serious because then her heart gonna get broken. And she don't need to, if she's not gonna take it serious, then she don't need to be in a serious relationship with somebody who's called a serious relationship. Make sure well, you bubble that. Serious relationship. If you're going to tell her not to be serious, then there's no need for a relationship. <laughs> so you think it's, so the pro, so what pros do you get from dating somebody? I, I told you, lessons. Like you learn, oh, lessons. About, you, you learn more okay. about yourself because somebody's going to tell you. In the moment, you're probably not going to like listen to them, but, Mm -hmm. If you really 
if you really taking somebody serious, you're gonna really think about like your actions and and how you know you should go moving forward. And, like you grow from relationships to me. Mm-hmm. Maybe with the with the right person. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what it is. You got you just have to be with with the right person in order for it to be like a really good relationship. Like someone both well, y'all. Yeah, but like I said, like it doesn't matter. Like at that at that time and moment, that person was the right person. Then y'all grow apart, but you still grow. You still have growth. Like y'all had growth with each other. That's what the, that's what the relationship is. You supposed to excel. Okay, and, and what cons do you think like it is to dating in your twenties? Distraction. That's the that's the biggest con. Mm-hmm. It is the biggest con. No, biggest con. So I said con. Oh, con. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, distraction. Cause you, when you're in your early twenties, you're trying to set up what you're gonna be doing later in your life. About around this age. You're supposed to be no, setting up. late twenties. You mm-hmm. you kind of decide. No, like no, no. I'm saying you're you're going to college from 18 to 22, right? Okay. You're you're you, sh- you should have a like you should be planning your life on what you want to be doing ar- around this age. Like right right now, mm-hmm. you probably should be in a uh, getting ready to go into what you're going to be going to be doing for the rest of your life. life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, twenty the early 20s is the most vital part part of your 20s because yeah. you're setting up your plan but the beginning stages did. but no i'm not saying that everybody everybody because i didn't do that huh you was you you were building up to where you are now i was building up but i didn't have a plan i was just doing things no out of- i'm saying i'm saying that's the age where you should be like i didn't have a direct plan at my early 20s but i wish i did i did mm-hmm. like yeah, right, I if I, I right now I, if i knew what i knew now i, can, I wish i could go back mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying like you're supposed to be working on a plan in that in that early time frame, okay. 20s, to set up for now. So you think it's just distractions, as like females got distractions or guys have distractions hey, both, during both. early age. But both. what distractions are there? Like other females you talking about, or like it's being a, in a party scene, or what? Like just wasting time. Like you don't want to waste time. Like if you're going if you're going to be involved with somebody and half ass that you're wasting time and time you can put on yourself when you worry about yourself 100% of the time you go so much harder you go so much harder than when you get in a relationship because you gotta get your mind off that once you get your mind on what you're like striving to do you're going you're, you're it's a distraction like damn I love so I love. For me, in my experience, I would say like. Bro, I had to repeat myself like two times. <laughs> it's bro, I okay. lost track. Go it's ahead. Okay. For me personally, like I was in my relationship for six years prior to this, I didn't have no vision. I didn't see that person being my end person. You know, even though I was in a relationship with that person, I did not see the ending of it. So I was, I, I could have went harder, right? I could have went harder in what I want for myself now, but I didn't because when you're in a relationship with someone, like y'all growing together, you want to please that person. And it's like, why did I do that? Like I was young. So I feel like that's a con. Like you try to please your partner that I'm not saying, let me not say that you, you should please your partner. Both of y'all should be pleasing each other, but like, don't get too thrown off of those. Like, don't you get what I'm trying to say? Like, don't get too thrown off at that early age. Like, try to build for your life how it is now. Because I could have been way further. Yeah, that's, than what, that's what I'm saying. It's distraction. Like, that's that's yeah. what I was trying to say. Oh, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is a con. Yeah. Because it's like I could have been way further if I wasn't so consumed and pleasing. Uh, <laughs> the partner. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was saying like sometimes dating so early on in your twenties is like. Dang, that, that should be kind of the years that you really grind it. Unless you have a partner where both of y'all. <laughs> That's what I said, bro. Yeah, I, I know. I know, I know. But unless you got both partners can do that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's that's definitely a Same con. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a con to dating in your 20s. So what's the pros of dating now like in your late 20s so you like 
dating you kind of got me on my like high horse because when I was dating you like in the beginning you were always like busy every time I came home from my first job you was like damn I gotta go to this job I was and then go to this job and I'm like damn I'm I'm sitting here on my my bed just like but I wasn't dating yeah. nobody. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's I wasn't dating nobody, so I wasn't that busy. Like I, I should have oh, been yeah, on my grind right. time. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. Like I was slacking. So I'm like, damn, like schedule should be like that. Oh yeah, yeah right. And then that's when I, you see I got my my uh, I went to my part time, and then I was doing that for a while, and then you kept. You need to start working two jobs. <laughs> he, he, he overdid it. He no, was working till like 11. You was working till like 11 grind time, p.m. Grind time, grind Every time. day. You I were at too. Least, okay. I at least had some days where I came home at maybe. Mine's is the weekends. Yours is whenever. Oh, uh, yeah. Mine's is okay. whenever. Yours, was Yours is whenever. Weekend. But you're yeah. gone to what? Two, two o'clock, three o'clock every day. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, but I was, I was doing that also. We can get in talk. We're gonna get in that on the next discussion, but yeah, I yeah I'm gonna let y'all know that. But yeah, you right, you right. That's so that's like the pros of dating in your late twenties. Just for anyone out there, like, what'd you say dating in your late twenties? Like, what should they be doing? Like, with their partner? Like, should they be thinking like, you know, like, what should they, what they should be doing? Uh, late twenties, we about to be thirty grow like you just try to find ways to grow together or yeah, grow together okay help each other like it's, it should be a two-way street like mm -hmm. i hope you all this way i'm gonna motivate you this way like it's just how it should be like, like i said if you find the right person y'all motivate each other and y'all gonna y'all gonna see like how much y'all like grow and actually like if y'all actually like put your mind to really grinding and trying to progress in your life man it's just gonna rub off on each on, on uh, each, each of y'all yeah. both of y'all so it's like you have no choice but to go up I'm going up cause I'm gonna bring you with me and when you go up I'm gonna go I'm gonna with you cause I'm gonna incur cause you gonna wanna you want <laughs> you gonna want to like you're gonna want to because it's like you don't wanna leave your partner behind that's weird yeah. like yeah. I would not want to be prospering and then seeing my partner just Applaud to me, like I want to applaud them too. You know, right. I don't want to. That's just not it. It's not it. <laughs> okay, so what's the cons of dating in like your late twenties? I feel like the cons of dating, like if you're not, if you don't see yourself with that person, it's just no point in you dating. But y'all, I know some people in their thirties that like they don't care. They don't look for that. They're not looking for that. They're just like trying to boss up on their own, not really looking for a partner. And I feel like I probably would have been in that same state if I didn't meet him. Like, I was at that point in life where I was just like, I felt like it was grind season. Like, the 20s, it was just like, okay, I got to go. Like, I got to work hard for my 30s. You know, you got to have a plan for each, like, you know, each milestone year. Yeah. Yeah, because in, in your early 20s, you're more like, you, you gotta like learn to win, like learn to have fun when it's time to, instead of like trying to have fun all the time. Like, I think that was my problem. Like, I wanted to have fun all the time. Like, I was too. You know, it's man? early 20s. But, You're 21 now. Yeah, drink we could have been, been, you know, like, right. working harder at doing it. At that age. Yeah, yeah. And looking at it like, dang, I'm gonna turn up when I'm 30. Right, right. But nobody look at it like that. We right. look, we turn to 21, we like, we're the first liquor store. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like, no one's thinking about it like that. Exactly. So, yeah, those are just some pros and cons, y'all, from, you know, just dating in your 20s. But we're yeah. still in our 20s, so we're in our late 20s, so we're trying to learn. <laughs> our last question was, do you believe in self-love? Like, like, how old were you when you discovered self-love or just, you know, loving yourself? Or, like, did your parents give you most of that self-love or did you learn it yourself? Uh, I always love myself since I can remember. Since you were born. He I was a favorite, y'all. I can't. You know, you put, like, out of everybody in your in your life, you're supposed to love you the most. Like, but sometimes it takes time to get there. I'm one like, of them. What do you mean? Like, you talking about... Self love. It was a while. I would say, I wasn't until like when I was probably like twenty three is when I really wanted, really just loved myself. 
And during that time of me loving myself, I poured more into myself. When you don't love yourself, it's hard for you to pour into your own cup. You know what I'm saying? Because you're the one who's having that self-love. But if you can always pour into your cup, that's good. Some people just have that naturally. I didn't have that. I had to learn how to pour in my cup, happiness, what to do to make me happy. I didn't know those things. Mm. So that's, I took, I wasn't until I was 23 until I learned self-love. So I think maybe it's just the way we, you grow up. It could be. I just, yeah. I just always, you just always had self-love. I always love myself. Like, mm-hmm. I always like when I'm little, when I was little, I always like, look to be like I always want to like I don't know it's something like I can't really explain it but mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. you can't really I explain think. it no I don't have, I'm just saying like for me I took y'all know like it took me a while to really learn self love like I always wanted to be center of attention like that's why I love sports like uh-huh. basketball was my favorite sport because uh, football like you know the player but basketball is like your face is out there like mm-hmm. when you make your play you're out there like they can see you directly like they don't know it's you like i always you had confidence yeah your whole life so you always got to like you got to like, but yeah. not everyone has that good though that's that's good so you always really had self-love yeah i didn't really have self-love okay. why you why is that hmm why is that again like why why like, why do you feel like you never had self-love? Um, and why couldn't you love yourself? Honestly, that's a good question, y'all. Like, the person, I I, I didn't really have that want to be center of attention, like he would say. Or I did play sports, but it wasn't like basketball or anything. So I didn't have that. But I, I guess it'll be the people around me. I think it depends on your circle. Um, don't get me wrong. My, my parents love me to death, but... Sometimes mm-hmm. when you grow up, you have to find your own love, not the love that your parents give you. Um, being bullied, I was bullied uh, in life, so that was a straw on me. Uh, suicidal thoughts, um, depression sometimes. So it's like a lot of that stuff, you know, leads to um, self love. Like, and then when you get when you go through different life obstacles or past relationships that break you down you have to learn how to build yourself up and know how to love yourself again so that's what my story is i love that that's i never knew that yeah i never, knew told me that. I never asked but... yeah so that's just you know wow. story of self-love and i had the most confidence now honestly no, i don't have, have the most you have the most confidence now like I, when when did you gain all this confidence um, I would say last year or two years ago before my baby. So probably two years ago when I was like 20, yeah, like 24. What? Why are you acting like you haven't been popping your shit? I have not. When you first met me, I was popping my stuff. So we added my our daughter in this video because she wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> right? Right, mama? Okay, so... Um, I think we were talking about just like self love and just you know how to how we gain that over time. But I mean, you you said you already had that, so that was good. Um, so we're the next topic is we're gonna lead to dating mistakes. Do you think you made any dating mistakes in your past, like in your entire life? Did you make any mistakes in your relationship that you probably could have did differently? Like maybe resolve certain situations differently or went about something a certain way? Uh, I guess uh, understanding the other person's feeling. Okay. So just like, like elaborate. Um, so, for, so for instance, like, a, uh, say like, that one, the person gets mad and I feel like it's not a big of a deal to me, but it may be a bigger deal to them. Uh-huh. And I'll be willing to like to to come to an amends, or uh, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't like to fight all day. I feel like it's draining, but that person may not be ready to, you know, you know what I'm saying. Because it's a bigger issue to them than it is to me. 
Mm, and so sometimes you just, I'll be like, damn, you, you just being mad. Like, I, I probably, I get mad at that. I probably get mad at that and not understand that. They probably thought it was a big deal to them. So I feel like understanding that person too. Okay, that's the dating mistake you made. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I feel like with me, I should have never been so angry. Like, I would like, but it was a lot of things that transpired to make me so angry with certain situations. So, so it's what is mis- what why so what what made it become a, a mistake? Like you need to have um, to or like like why like how is that a mistake? I could have communicated things differently um, instead of being angry about it and being you know destructive and stuff like that. Could have been more calm and collective with certain. If I had a different thought process things probably would have went differently. Or I wouldn't say it would have went differently, but it could have, you know, it could have been a little better. That's a mistake. And for me, I don't know if it's just because of my situation. Um, I wouldn't think of marriage so early on, like coming out of high school, thinking that I'll be with this person forever. I think that's a dating mistake. But that's what, that's what I thought at first. Like, I always thought, like, you shouldn't really go into relationships like that. But, I mean, from his perspective, he thinks opposite. But I get where he's coming from. But it's like, there's people out there like me who got freaking trust issues. Or, like, I don't know, y'all had a normal, but it's just, like, people who have that. So, they don't want to, you know. Mm-hmm. So that? Yeah. So, I think that's, like, a dating mistake early on. Dating so early, I feel like I should live my life a little bit more. That's mm. what I was about to do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so our other question is, how do you get over a breakup? So with you, you've been in, you know, your relationships. How did you get over that person to go to the next? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a bit different. Like I can maybe this. I don't know. It's probably the way I was trained. Like, if a person doesn't want to be with me and they show that, like, they really show that, I'm not going to stop them. I'm not going to, like, I'm not the type to, to beg them. Well, it depends. Like, it all depends. Because you can tell. Okay, for instance, like, I, you know how I apologize to you and something I did. Mm-hmm. You know? But if it's like a if it's like something that I know I'm not doing or like this person this person just not happening with me at, at this time, uh, point in time, I'm not the type to just like just get on my knees and beg like don't go don't go like if they say they want to be done with it be done you know what I'm saying like that's that's how it is. It's a pride thing. It's not a pride thing. It's more like I'm not going to waste my time, my time every like. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to bring back somebody that's gonna be in my life. That's wasting my time. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna waste my time like that. It's meant to be, it's meant to be another one. I'm not, I'm not the type to force anything. So what if they came back? Like, y'all, she broke up with you, or whatever, mm-hmm. and you know, you was just like, you didn't want your time wasted, so you just like, you know, just you let her go, or whatever. And then she came back. And she maybe came back, and, I'm, and, and you know, you know when I don't know when she came back. It's to me, she came back like. Like, if she come back and like, like, oh hey, let's do this again. Like, if she comes back and like say like, let's like do this again week, after, after a week, away, maybe a like, month later. After like a couple months, the feelings that you have like with with that person, non contact, it starts to, like you start to get used to being without that away person. from that person. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. Like, you do. at first, a breakup it, it sucks because you're with that person, talking to that person every single day. That's the person. That's the person you was talking to every single day, every hour on the hour. So of course you're gonna have like you know you're gonna be sad, sad and miss that person. But after a while, you, just, you know. Bless she? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now get into the nitty gritty. The last you know couple minutes, we're gonna talk about red flags. So. What are some red flags you feel like, you know, are in a relationship or just dating nowadays in our time? Like, what do you think the red flags are? 
Like some red flags. Uh, no motivation. The biggest thing for me. Like, stay, stay, in, no growth. Like, that's, that's the biggest red flag. No growth. <laughs> okay. I think a big red flag is like not having a job. Um, but that goes into like growth. Like, there's no growth in that. You don't have a job, you're not. Like, you can't, it's impossible to progress. Yeah. You know, we got to have something. We got, okay, not not a job, but some type of income. Mm-hmm. It don't have to be a job, but some type communicate. of communicate. Yeah. That's a red flag. Yeah. A red flag is communicate. What's a red flag that you think? Um, uh, what is another red flag? Um, Being insecure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah, one yeah. of my red flags. I do not want to be with someone who's insecure um, because there is just, yeah, it's just not going to work. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're going to think that you, you know, you can't go somewhere and they think you're talking to their friend or something. Right, you know? right, right. Like, nobody wants that. Yeah. So, um, being insecure. Being insecure is, like, my biggest thing. Uh, yeah. Trust issues? Do you care about that? Is that a red flag for you? Uh, oh, yeah. I, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. That's something everybody probably got with. with you don't have to be relationships. I got trust issues with. You can have trust issues with your friend. You know, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who's going to snake you. At the end of the day, you got to. You got to. If you don't think about somebody. For Crazy, cause anybody, anybody, I see niggas' mamas. I'm not falling, cause. Yeah, you are ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How many you nah, I seen uh, I seen people's own mothers and parents snake them. You know, you gotta have, you gotta think everybody gonna do you wrong at the end of the day. Some type of guard up. Yeah, for sure. You, know you can be married with somebody and they, you know. Uh huh. Always do that. Yeah, so it has some type of guard, no matter what. No oh. matter what. So oh, the video is about to end. So, what advice do you want to give to people that are dating in their twenties, or something that they can take away? Um, take your time. Don't rush into nothing. Everything should be strategic, and you know, stay grinding, no matter what. Grind, grind, grind. Always think of ways to. Build. Make, to, yeah, to build, you know, try to find ways to make more money. Like, that goes into building, but money, you know, just just always keep trying to progress each year. That's that's my goal at the end of the year. My goal at the at, uh, every uh, January, January 1st is to progress each year. That's my goal. And I, for, for the past three, four years, I've accomplished that. So I'm proud of myself. So. That's what I got. Yes. Well, thank you guys for joining us on our talk. If you like it, we would do some more relationship advice and talk and kind of get more deep and down to our relationship and how we get over arguments and stuff like that. So, see y'all soon. Love y'all. See y'all. Bye. And subscribe down below. Bye.